So, um, we are trying to wrap up all the stuff from this weekend. Today, you can tell, I'm obviously still wearing the same dirty clothes. Um, <laughs> trying to get all of this done because we have a thunderstorm coming in tonight. And so, I can't just have the stuff sitting out on my driveway, so I'm trying to get all of it done. And I was getting really overwhelmed. And so, I went ahead and dumped all the bags one by one into the tote got all the garbage sorted out and thrown out and sort of got it organized kind of more than it was okay more than it was so let's just bust through all of it um quickly <laughs> because i still have like three boxes on the porch that need to be gone through and a ginormous bag on the driveway that we need to get through before the rain starts so, all right, we'll just start right here. We have wrapping paper, mostly Christmas wrapping papers. Can you see them, Lou? And this one's really awesome. Look at that fun print. That's just, it's super. Some cellophane and then an empty roll, but it's really, really thick. And so I'm going to hold on to it. These for packaging? Time, yeah, for packaging. It's just really good for sending like posters in, in the mail. All right. Where shall we go next? Let's just go right here. All right, so we've got a Tell Me Tiger. We've got a super cute little sombrero. It I, looks just like your dad's. Yeah, it, it definitely reminds me of some that um, my dad had. We could put it on the on Josefina since she's in Mexico. Yeah, we could, we could use it on Olivia's um, American Girl. Um, this, I don't know what it is. At first I thought it was gonna be like one of those sponge things for in the shower but it doesn't have anything on it maybe the sponge came off because it looks like yeah it maybe the sponge came off if that is the case we'll probably throw it away all right this it's broken it's like cracked a little bit on one side but it's still so cool and i haven't seen one of these since i was a kid it's just like the sand all moves around i haven't That's seen one of these cool. in forever yeah when i was a kid i remember seeing a lot of them but it's been a long long time so I think we'll play with that for a while, and then if we have to, we can just empty the sand out um, and use in our own sand art. Mm -hmm. There are two VHS videos, getting out of debt, and then emergency planning. That's what it says is on them, but you know what? You never know. So we'll see. Who knows? Um, yeah, I'm always looking for something some kind of drama, some kind of something exciting. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so it's a um, Lightning McQueen little chalkboard. That's good because the new Lightning McQueen movie is coming out. Uh-huh, and it has erasers and chalk. I think we'll put this in the prize bin. If you don't know what I'm talking about with the prize bin, there it is. That's, you'll have to watch our video about the prize bin and what we've been doing with that, our reward program that we're doing throughout the summer that has been really awesome. All right, then there's this um, from Office Max, and I need to attach, reattach this magnet to it, which I will do, and can put that on the fridge, and you can put your, like, expo markers and eraser and your spray, whatever, um, and have it up on the fridge right next to my dry erase board that I found in the bins a couple of weeks ago. Um, there is a pirate hat, which I will add to our dress ups. We found a lot of makeup to go with our dress ups. Oh, yes. Um, some towels, which is great because I always need more kitchen towels. And these definitely have a little bit of life left in them, so I'll wash those. Bleach them. Then, assorted baskets. Can you see these, Lou? This is my favorite. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of like an Indian type. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. And then, and this basket as well. And then some Easter eggs, Easter grass. Um, this candle warmer. I don't see a brand name on it. So if any of you recognize this one, it's just like a tea light or wax warmer. Um, if you recognize that, please mention it in the comments. But there is a little fragrance bottle 
and the brand is Slatkin and Company. So I don't know if they're the same. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Then vintage Tupperware and completely intact. Good, really good condition. So that will go um, on eBay. What's vintage? Vintage means that it is pre-owned and it's older, but not like antique. Antique is like really old. All right, then a cute little tote. Uh, several things, a discount card for the local car wash. Awesome. A thing that I'm not sure what it is. Probably electricity. Thing. Well, it's, yeah, it's something electrical. We'll have to ask what. our uncle. Uh, some patriotic looking pencils. Some, ah, um, incentive punch cards, those will go online, some tape, some, it's the stuff that like, what, goes around windows it's or something? Duct tape. Not, it's not duct tape. It's, it has duck on the inside. I know, it's that brand, but it's not duct tape. Anyway, it's foamy tape. Some chalk, a timer, some funky scissors. <laughs> Weird. Um, I could bring little, those to school. No. A little pencil thing. Super cute penguins. I have one of those. Yeah. And a bunch of popsicle sticks. Several rolls of unopened tape to go with our tape dispenser that we found earlier. And a bunch of these little chips. Little plastic Oh, that's chips. like for a bingo game. Like, yeah, like for bingo. Those will probably go online. And then um, some more glue. So, all right. Then, next, move some of this out of the way. I'm going to try to stay somewhat organized. Trying. But there's just so much stuff, it's going to be hard. So there is a pack of Instagrip for various things. Can you see from there? Is that too far yep. away? Okay. See. Okay, good. I'm assuming um, if I can't. Okay. All right. So, brand new package. That's awesome. Uh, another tote bag. That's cute. Mm-hmm. We find tons of those. We also find tons and tons and tons of the plastic pencil boxes. But look at this. So, I was so disappointed that I found a third pencil box, like the kind from my childhood, but the lid was broken off. But then I just found another one and this one has the lid. It does have some unfortunate tape on it, but I'm okay with that because it's, it's just so cute. And it's another of the old school pencil boxes. Anyway, so there are crayons and some note paper that can go bye-bye. Markers that we'll need to test. Okay. Um, like I said, I did already start going through and kind of trying to group things, and so there were assorted flowers throughout the many, many bags that this represents. There were also bows for, like, flower bouquets and whatnot. So that's all really awesome. I love these, and they already have the picks and everything because I do a lot of my own flower arranging with flowers from my yard, so those are super handy. And the Ziploc bags were all bags already in all this stuff. I did not use my own Ziploc bags. So. We don't have that kind. Yeah. And then if you watched the ride along video, you'll remember there were a ton of stickers and I gathered all of those up. So there's a whole bunch, all different kinds. There's little rhinestones. Yeah, little, little, here, get, get in there. Get in there. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Yes. Anyway, um, <laughs> and yet another zippy bag from, from this. All right, then, and I will take this apart and throw out the cellophane. I'll bag up all of the um, shred, but the, it's a cute little tote, some lovely ribbon, and we, we will totally reuse that. Um, I've said it a million times, and I will say it yet again. I don't, excuse me, I don't buy gift packaging. I don't have to. I get it from the bins. All right. Then yet another clear glass vase. How many now? I'm not sure. I'm going to do a video just specifically about the glass vases that we have been finding this summer because there have been so many. 
but it's full of dowels and um, bamboo sticks. And our craft ideas need dowels. That's true. We need them for our crafts. And then a bunch of the little clips that are for orchids. So obviously this person, and, and the bamboo sticks that go with orchids. So she obviously had my similar struggle. I've now successfully kept an orchid alive for a few months, and I'm really happy about that. But I also had to go through a few orchids before I finally figured out how to keep them alive. Obviously she did too. I feel her pain. All right, more baskets. So I've got to throw out the foam, but I will keep the little card holder. And um, so another basket, then another basket. Oops. Don't worry, I'm gonna vacuum. All right, and then two planter baskets. And those will most likely go in um, our yard sale. It's a harvesting one. And then these I will use. Um, they're just um, decorative accents. And they are they need to be used like immediately because they're already, you know, the, the liquid's starting to come out. So I need to use those. So it's time to make a, you know, a bouquet of something. And then glitter. Glitter. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> glitter. Awesome. We'll add that to our craft supplies. Then there's this, which will go in my yard sale. You just hang it on the wall, has a little thingy, and put your notes there. It's not my style, so yard sale. Then there's this cute little basket. It just needs to be like sprayed off, and, and that'll get the dust off of it. And this would be super cute for doing a gift of some kind. Add that to my gift supplies. Oh, this is funny. So there's a bag, just a white paper bag, and it has these instructions and some corn, <laughs> some dried corn. And it has instructions on how to pop it in the microwave in this bag. I don't know how old it is. I don't care. We're going to try it. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be an adventure. I think it'll be fun. Okay. It might turn into popcorn. It hopefully will be popcorn. Then there's this, and I thought this was so cute. So it's a water bottle holder that this person made, just stapled, and like there's a little ring there, and goes on your water bottle. I don't know. Anyway, once cool. that water bottle is empty, you yeah, you can back put up. another one. Um, these I don't know what they are. So if you guys know what these are, please leave that information in the comments below. Then some magnets. And this is an old school cup called Microwave Heatables from Rubbermaid. It's obviously pretty beat up, but I'm going to see if it has any collectible value to it. Or you could make it into something. I'm sure I pencil could. Pencil holder? If it's not, yeah, but I don't need a pencil holder. If it's not worth anything, it'll go in the yard sale. Some random metal. This um, wire. It's pretty rusty looking, but we can still totally use it for crafts. And we bought wire. Yeah, we bought some, but that's okay. Um, these, they're chess pieces. Oh, I was gonna mention that. There is a theme in several of the things that I found in here of chess. So I'm thinking this teacher headed up the chess club. I don't know, but these chess pieces, I'm not sure maybe you guys will know, but they have a little round felty spot right there. And at first I thought, oh, it's for stamping. Why would you stamp? That makes no sense. So then I thought, well, maybe it goes like on a felt board, but I don't know if that's enough for this to stick to a felt board. So I'll test it out. But if you guys are familiar with these kind of chess pieces, you just let me know in the comments. That's a felt board. Then, oh, there's this little broken pencil box, and I'll recycle the pencil box, but it has these fabulous little plastic beads that are so cute. Look at, I mean, just look at how fun those are. They're really fun. But then there's these things, and I'm not sure what they are. They you remind me. Them. Well, okay, so you stack them. And then the what? On the spikes. And then what? On the spikes, and you're supposed to make towers. Oh, there's okay. There's supposed to be tons more. All right, Olivia says you make towers with them because to me they just reminded me of those things that come in your pizza <laughs> when you get, you know, delivery pizza and there's a little thing in them. Anyway, so all right, so they're for stacking. Cool. All right. We had them in my 
first grade teacher class. Oh, so Olivia knows them. Oh, and then these. So corn. These are to hold your corn. They like even look like little husks. How cute is that? So yeah, I've never seen these before, but I guess they could also. Now we need to have corn. Yeah, I'm, I don't like corn. Um, well, I don't like I don't like corn on the cob. <gasps> yeah, but the kids can use them. And anyway, they're super cute. So they can be boats. Yeah, they could be little boats, or you could do like a banana split. I don't know. All right, next, <laughs> some coffee mugs. Teacher. For the teachers. Teacher coffee mugs. Gifts. Teacher gifts. It is what it that is. That one's actually really cute. Yeah. Um, little tote. Uh, oh, more chalk, guys. Tons more chalk. So there's a bunch of used chalk and another unopened pack of sidewalk chalk. So we are not going to need to buy chalk for I, forever. Like, we'll, we'll never buy chalk again, I don't think. A super fun pen. Look at this pen. I mean, come on. Yeah, Olivia wants it, but we'll see. Anyway. Uh, I can a rock it at school. Yeah. A Coleman drink cozy thing. Another doorbell thing. You I don't know speak what the deal, it. I don't know what the deal was with doorbells and this person, but how many doorbells? I've found tons of them or like parts of them. And I threw away a whole bunch of pieces because they were all busted up and stuff, but we'll see if this is worth anything or I don't know measuring cup and then this is funny um it's just like an old school well i don't even know if it's old school i guess that's what i was going to ask you guys um is this oh nope the date is on it right there okay now i feel sheepish um 2012 is when it's from to me like i looked at the colors and i'm like that's got to be old like back in the day vintage avon no avon just and please don't be offended if you're like a total Avon fanatic, but their like packaging just to me always looks like it's stuck back in the 80s. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Don't be mad at me. All right, then um, there's a Braun electric toothbrush and, and I charger. I have a head for it. So um, we'll need to get a new tip for it. Olivia has one, but I don't know. I think better to just get a new one so anyway that's really awesome if this works and if we can find a tip for it that would be super cool well I have two tips then um, a little stress ball and then your second one yeah well, well I found lots of stress ball things and then a, a broken up terracotta pot which if you've watched my, any of my gardening videos um, ugh, you save the crocs that's what they call them on my british gardening shows the broken up terracotta pots they call them crocs and anyway you put them in the bottom of of a flower pot before you put in the dirt and the it provides drainage so don't just throw them away use them in your gardening okay um a pointer this <laughs> i'm i'm not keeping this i just wanted to show you guys like this poor broken doll um, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's really creepy. I was thinking I could totally use this for some, like, creepy art. Like Halloween. Like, yeah, Halloween, because I am Scare off the hardcore neighbors. into Halloween. It scare is, off the neighbors. It is like, yeah, oh, I would love to scare off the neighbors, especially one in particular right now that's bothering me. But anyways, um, this, yeah, I'm just, I really love Halloween, and I go all out for Halloween. So I'm thinking this, there might be something creepy that I could do with this. I don't know. No, she holds her head. We'll see. Yeah. We will see. Okay. Then there's a little jumper. Aww. Cute for a doll. Not that doll. And then this is just like random stuff. Little broken pieces that most of them I will throw away except there's like a pretty stone. But the, the thing, the thing is this it's Lennox. It's gorgeous. I gotta look it up. Put I gotta see in it. what the information is about it and what kind of value it may or may not have. But I'm pretty sure it's a good find. I'm pretty sure. Stay tuned 
for an update because I will see what I will see and I will find out and I will let you know. But I'm pretty excited about it. So pretty excited. Okay. Um, nerdy glasses. All right, hold on. A bag that'll just go in the yard sale or donate. Some dress up glasses. This will go um, in the eBay stuff. It's another learning resources thing. Walk. A bean bag. All right, that's all of that. Yes, I know I'm going to have to vacuum. All right, one thing at a time. Um, a wooden set of hearts that they charged two dollars and thirty-five cents for that. Ugh. Anyway, um, a little plastic drag or not dragon. Oh my goodness. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Dinosaur train. And then a wallet. No money in it. Uh -huh. A little knob with the screw. And another of these scoops that we will use to make. We'll paint them and make little pots. Spaghetti for pots. Our American Girl dolls. And then this. Okay, I'm so excited about this. When I found it, the, there weren't legs. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And I was just about to throw it away. But then I noticed the date on it is 1981, which is the year I was born. So I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And come to find out the legs were in there in other stuff. And they just popped right back on. So I'm guessing it was probably like um, McDonald's or something a mcdonald's happy meal toy most likely but i'm gonna look it up i'm gonna see if it has any value even if it doesn't have value i'm okay with that because i'm gonna keep it for me it's awesome so cool put that with the little lennox bowl she's okay. taking she's in the hot tub yeah that's that's she's enjoying a spa day all right next. she's even in her swimming so so there's this case and the lock is broken so that sucks. And there are some significant cracks on it. So most likely it will just go bye-bye. That sucks. But, um... So it was kind of good that they throw it away. It's got all kinds of things in it. It's got a button ear. And this little tool. And a bunch of, like, belt stuff. Maybe it's a sewing box. Yeah, it's a sewing box. And just all kinds of little notions. Ooh. Ah. Here I was so excited it was going to be something awesome, but it's things for a sewing machine. All right. Anyway, so can you see in here, Olivia? Oh, and then um, the pure cut automatic scissors. We, You know we're testing those out. And, um, yeah, just so just assorted sewing stuff. Tracing paper. Hold on, hold on. You are just recording, my love. All right. Some more stuff. And then... Bachelor buttons. Oh, look at this. 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 What is this? Let's see. Made in the USA, so that's got to be old. Huh. Minnie Mouse, she's like missing a hand. Oh no, just kidding, it's behind her back. I don't know. This Walt let's see. Walt Disney Productions, I do not see a year. But the fact that it was made in the US, that alone kind of tells you something. Anyway, a little bookmark. We're gonna clean that up and we will research that. That's awesome. I did not see that before. That's exciting. Okay. Um more buttons. Little hook knees. Um, random broken jewelry. <laughs> really funny buttons. <laughs> the heck? Yeah, they're like furry buttons. That's oh, you cute. Put on a furry coat. Yeah, that's awesome. And then, oh, that's really pretty. That's lovely. Okay, so, awesome. Good, fun, crafty stuff. Then, crayons. We will never 
buy crayons again. And we already have tons of crayons that we have found. Um, eraser. So there's these crayons. And there's these crayons. Oh my and if that wasn't enough, there's these crayons. Oh my goodness. So I need to find a place to donate some crayons to. If you have suggestions on where to donate crayons, please leave that in the comments. Because what am I what am I going to do with all these crayons? It's We're way too much. We're never going to use them. No, there's way too many. Um, a cute little notebook. Some stencils. Some crayons. And a broken little plastic thing that will go bye-bye. All right. <coughs> Olivia, we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Olivia's adding her um, creative artistic touches to our video. All right. Let me see the bee. All right. So. Don't let it sting you. Ah! All right. Cute little bee. And it's bendy. Awesome. All right. Bee. <laughs> then a whole bunch of notebooks. All these notebooks. Have each they been one, written in? Yes, they have been written in, but each one, well, not all of them actually. Okay, some, like four or five pages each. That's it. Rip those out, put them in the recycling. You've got notebooks and notebooks and notebooks. I have a Cutting whole notebooks. tote. Shh. I have a whole, sorry, we're working on how much, I'm not trying to be rude to Olivia, so don't. We're working on how much dialogue we want to have back and forth whilst we're doing these videos. We don't want it to be too distracting to you guys. And if her and I start talking to each other, it's just going to be blah, 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 because we are both talkers. So don't think I'm like being rude to Olivia. We're trying to work out a balance here. Okay, now we've explained that. Okay, so the things I feel like I have to explain. Anyway, I have a whole um, box in the attic full of notebooks. We will never need to buy notebooks ever again. We do go through them pretty regularly. We all use them. So it's good to find more and more and more. But I know every summer I'm going to find more. All right. Then some colored cardstock. Yes, it has printing on the other side. Who cares? Um, we're using that like in crafts and stuff. That, that side's going to be glued to something anyway. So no biggie. Um, these are interesting. And there's more. There's a few more. But they're in my kitchen sink because something had spilled on them, and so I'm washing them off. But um, there's a little envelope, and these just random laminated paper. I don't know what the lady's plan was with them. I don't know what my plan is with them. Worst case, they will just end up in the recycling. So, And at this point where I'm so overwhelmed, there's a very good chance they will end up in the recycling. Okay. A big huge binder and it has a bunch of plastic pages in it tons of plastic pages just need to empty the stuff out of them most likely will go in the yard sale because I have more than enough binders and plastic pages so this is fun these it says Will's food land what does it say your doorway to better living for less so I'm gonna offer these um to like local people because this doesn't exist anymore this wills food land doesn't exist anymore um but i'm going to see if there's anyone in the area that is interested in them i don't know and maybe nobody will they'll be like why would we want that i don't know i don't know but i thought that was really cool um this is before my time of living here and i've been here like 20 years i don't this wasn't here since i've been here but there's gotta be someone out there that's like, oh, I remember shopping at Will's Food Land and has like good memories of picking out broccoli or something. So I'm gonna offer those to someone nearby. Or if one of you is familiar with Will's, Will's Food Land and is like, I have so many good memories about Will. He was great. Well, let me know. I know that's totally unlikely, but let me know. All right, then we have a chalkboard and several whiteboards and these um we don't need them they will most likely go in the yard sale and if that doesn't work out if they don't sell i mean 
I'll see if they're recyclable. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Ideas? There is a Disney puzzle. We will, of course, have to put it together and see if all the pieces are there. Um, all kinds of sewing type stuff, iron-on letters and like transfer paper, crafty stuff like that. This one, interface, whatever, it's sewing stuff. Um, this little guy. Got to clean it up a little bit. That'll go in one of our um, eBay lots of teacher stuff. These really cool old coloring books. I'll look them up. I highly doubt they have any real value. Um, if they don't, which I don't think they do, then we will enjoy them and then recycle them. Packing supplies, shipping supplies rather. And this one has projects. Some of them are used, some of them are not. Anyway, scrap paper. We love scrap paper. A music book, Olivia, I didn't tell you. Yeah, her face just totally lit up. I wish you guys could have seen that. Her face totally lit up. Olivia's learning to play piano. And anyway, so look how cute this is. Um, I'd like to be a farmer. And the little red hen, story of my life. Um, three little ducklings. So we will do a video of Olivia trying out some of the songs in this fun little piano book that Perfect. we found. So there you go, Olivia. All right. Grandma will have to help me with it. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma will help. Okay. Some labels, traditional hymns for the organ. Yeah. I, mm. Okay. Online access pack another of the frozen alphabet books coloring books still have plenty of pages in them some paper some like interface or something like that for sewing a gift bag some tissue paper some brand new tissue paper a couple different kinds in there I don't buy wrapping supplies or gift packaging. No, it's in the bins. Just go get it. Oh, uh, and a bunch of little cards. They have like stuff printed on one side, but not on the other. I have no idea what we will use those for. They will just go into our general crafting stuff. All right, I'm gonna get all this out of the way and we'll be right back with the last little bit for today. So, down to these last two boxes for right now. <laughs> we still have so much more. There's so much more. 